To get a feeling of what nuclear matter really is, when you take atoms and you squeeze all the space between them, because remember, most of the space of an atom is made up from the electrons whirling around the nucleus. The nucleus is just a tiny little point in the middle of these atoms. If you squeeze all the, the space between the atoms away and you push nucleus against nucleus, if you could do that to the Earth, what would be the size of the Earth if you get rid of all the space between the nuclei? All right, well, we know that the Earth currently has a mass. This is the Earth. The current mass of the Earth is equal to 5.98 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. And we also know from a previous video that the density of nuclear matter is 2.31 times 10 to the 17 kilogram per cubic meter. So what would be the volume? Remember that the equation for density is equal to mass divided by volume, which means that the volume is equal to the mass divided by the density. So if we take the mass of the Earth and divide it by the density of nuclear matter, we would get the volume of the Earth if the Earth was completely pressed together and turned into a nuclear ball. So we have 5.98 times 10 to the 24 kilograms, and we divide that by 2.31 times 10 to the 17 kilograms per cubic meter. We now get the volume of the Earth. For that, we need a calculator. So 5.98 e to the 24 divided by 2.31 e to the 17th. And the volume would be, uh, let's see here, 2.59 times 10 to the 6th, uh, 7th cubic meters. All right, hmm, what does that mean? Hmm, so 25.9 million cubic meters doesn't give you a good feel for the size. So let's see what would be the radius of the Earth. <clears throat> so what would, be, what would be the radius of the Earth if it was a nuclear ball like that? And of course, we know that the volume is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. So if we solve this for r, uh, we multiply both sides by 3, divide both sides by 4, divide both sides by pi. So we get 3v over 4 pi is equal to r cubed, and then if we take the cube root of both sides, we can say that r is equal to the cube root of 3 times the volume divided by 4 times pi. All right, let's do that. So the cube root of 3 times the volume that we just found, 2.59 times 10 to the 7th meters cubed, and divide that by 4 pi, and then we get, of course, the radius in meters. So... Um, Multiply that times 3, divide by 4, divide by pi, and then we take the cube root. And look at that, 184 meters. Wow. The radius of the Earth would be just slightly less than two football field lengths. Can you imagine that? You could almost put the Earth inside a large, giant stadium, and it would actually fit. Well, maybe not quite, but a big stadium, big enough could actually hold the Earth, of course. The Earth would have still the mass of 5.98 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. I don't know how you're going to hold it in place. It'd fall right through. But that's astounding when you think about it. You could take the entire Earth's volume, squish it together, and the radius of the Earth would be no bigger than 184 meters if it was turned into a nuclear ball. So you can see that mass is contained in the very small nuclei of atoms, and the volume of the atoms are really made up of the electrons whirling around it, and so the structure and volume is made from the electrons, the mass is that tiny little point at the very center of the, of the atom made it from the nucleus. Pretty amazing stuff. Well, if you stick around, we'll have some more videos to show you what nuclear physics is all about.